Now that I've completed the My Summer Practice Journal series, I wanted to revisit some of the goals I set at the beginning of the summer. So two of the bigger things I wanted to accomplish throughout the summer was to finish the liqueur etude book. I had ended the last spring semester off at number 16, and there are 28 total etudes, so I just wanted to finish the liqueur book so that starting this fall semester, I can be completely done with that book and move on to something else. So if you did the math, I would have to complete one etude every week for the entire summer. And unfortunately, some weeks I was a little bit busier, some weeks I didn't feel that I accomplished everything that I wanted to in the etude, so I would push it off to the next week and finish it over two weeks instead of just one. I managed to get through number 25, so it was only off by three, and I'll just finish up those at the beginning of this new semester. The other big thing I wanted to do in terms of fundamentals was learn how to double tongue. It's something that I've always wanted to do and I just never put the time and effort into doing so. So I thought that starting it over the summer and really working at it consistently, I'd be able to do it. That is something that I did achieve. I am now able to double tongue, which I'm so happy I stuck with it and did it. I wasn't as consistent with it all summer as I wanted to. I kind of got to about that 120 marking and Kind of stopped working at it as consistently so i need to pick that back up but i'm very happy with my progress there at the beginning of the summer i did write down some of the pieces i wanted to work on and complete um, just so that i'm not completely working super hard on one thing the whole summer one of the things i wanted to work on was the tableau and although it isn't like super challenging it was way harder than i thought it was and it was just a standard that i wanted to at least be able to have learned and seen before so that in the future, if I needed to teach it, I could. The other piece I had was Liberation by Joel Love, which I did end up playing that. That was a really fun piece, and I hope that I can continue to work on that and maybe play it in the spring or later this fall at some point. And then I also have written down possibly Volcom Concert Suite, which I will probably end up playing for the UT Concerto competition, but we'll see. I finished the first movement and started working on the second, but that is one of my big projects for this upcoming fall. The other thing that I've written down is that I want to have all of my quartet music learned before school starts. Unfortunately, we weren't able to start as soon as we would have hoped, but I did get a good start on that over the last few weeks, and I think that's all going to go smoothly. Another goal of mine was to work through one military band excerpt each week, and I did achieve that. I worked on pretty much all the ones that I have at the time. I'm really happy that I did do this because not only am I going to audition for military bands in the future, and knowing these and getting these under my fingers um, is good experience and will help out tremendously, but we also have UT band auditions every semester, and a lot of those that I worked on he pulls from, so it makes those auditions a little bit less stressful. I also wrote down that I want to find a good system to keep all of my scales under my fingers, which I usually go chromatically starting on B flat and just work through all of them within a certain set, so all majors or all harmonic minor thirds, but I started to mix it up and just do it by pitch, so I would do all of the different categories, um, major, harmonic minor, melodic minor, thirds, fourths, etc. Um, just on one single pitch, and that seemed to work out for me well. I wouldn't say that I completely locked in a new system, but I definitely experimented with new ways of practicing my scales. Unfortunately, my big oopsie this summer was not doing any jazz at all. I know that was a big thing that I wanted to do this summer was achieve a jazz tone that I like and transcribe three solos. Although I'm very upset with myself that I didn't spend the time to start on any jazz, which is something that I've always wanted to do, and it makes me very upset that I didn't. Even though it's not necessarily a fair trade that I didn't do any jazz. I'm very happy with the classical progress that I've made. So some key takeaways that I have from this series and sort of challenge that I did this summer. Having a consistent and practically never changing setup saved my life. I put down a chair and a stand in the corner of the room and the video camera was the same spot in the same location every single day. Having that never changing setup was amazing. I was able to just have my horn on a stand next to it and just get out and start practicing really fast without having to worry about a setup. I know that now that I'm at school that's not going to happen and it's kind of frustrating that I can't have that. But if you are in a situation where you're able to have a never changing setup, it helps so much and will do wonders for you. Something else that I've learned is that even 30 minutes of practice is plenty. There were days where I was teaching all day and I said I probably wouldn't practice that week, but I ended up saying I would just do 30 minutes a day. Having that 30 minute limit was very helpful for my brain and my mentality throughout this challenge. I would set a timer for 10 minutes of fundamentals, 10 minutes of etude work, and then 10 minutes on rep. 
and that 30 minutes flies by and I would get a lot done. It was very efficient practice. So if you only have 30 minutes, don't be afraid to get the horn out. If you followed along throughout the summer, you'd notice that I only practiced six days a week instead of seven. And that was just so that one day I could set aside if I was super busy, I could take the day off. In some weeks I wasn't very busy and I would just take that day off as a mental break and just to keep the horn off the face. Breaks are good and practicing every single day can sound cool, but it's a little bit toxic. So breaks are good, be a six day a week saxophonist, just like Dr. Page always says. After all, I'm so glad that I did this series and that I stuck with it. It was a lot of work, but I have no regrets. I hope that it was as helpful for you as it was to me. I will see you in the next video. Peace.